In this video, we will demonstrate how to build digital twins of 3D buildings using the upcoming Julia Sim Buildings Library. The Buildings Library will include modeling toolkit components for accurate simulation of HVAC systems and the construction of multi-room systems. Complicated dynamics such as two-phase flows are handled in this software. We will demonstrate how to build animated visualizations of the results on the Julia Hub platform. Take it away! Hi, I'm Yungbo, and uh, I'll present the 3D building model today. This thermal thermal fluid package provides all the necessary components for the building model. And just like the thermal thermal fluid package, Julia Computing also provides libraries for modeling vapor compression, refrigeration cycles, hydraulics, and batteries. So first, let's load all the packages. Uh, and the meteorological data of Phoenix, Arizona is also provided uh, within thermal thermal fluid. Uh, library. So let's load that as well. And we can see that it contains time and temperature. The time is in the unit of seconds and the temperature is in Celsius. Because we are only interested in summer cooling of the building, so let's just slice the data starting on July 10th and for a duration of a week. But note that this data is discrete and for continuous simulation we have to interpret them. Uh, using the cubic spline function. And for thermal fluid modeling, it's much easier to work with Calvin. So we convert Celsius to Calvin using the function from degree C. Here, we set all the structural parameters of the model. Uh, it's saying that in this building, there are nine floors, three rows and three columns, each floor. So in total of 81 rooms in this building. And we discretize the cooling coils in 10 parts, and then each cooling coil is 10 meters long. And in this section, we set up all the more detailed parameters for the building. But for the sake of time, I wouldn't go into uh, each one of them. You can see the documentation for uh, more details. And then here, uh, first we can convert the interpolation object into something that modeling toolkit can understand. Uh, using the interpolate source component. And the ice named micro names uh, this component T ambient. And then here, Q sensibles means a sensible thermal mode for the room. For instance, when a person goes into the room, then Q sensible would increase. And for the sake of simplicity, I would just say that no one enters or leaves the room. Uh, so it's constant of uh, 20. And these two parameters describes the coolant water. This is saying that the coolant water is 5 degrees Celsius water running with mass flow rate of 0 0.01 kilograms per second. This sets the fan speed. This is saying that for all the rooms except for room number 5, fan speed is on uh, unit 1. And at this time for room number five, it bumps to two. And in here, we instantiate all the fun models for each room. And because connecting all the room's walls correctly is very tedious for 3D grid, the thermal thermal fluid package also provides the utility function dense grid building to instantiate all the room's walls and their connections for you automatically. And because there are different types of walls, like interior walls and exterior walls, the walls is returned in a dictionary data structure. And for the modeling, we only care about the actual wall components. So let's just take the values. So all the equations of this building is the connections between rooms and walls, as well as the connection between uh, the finite room. So this these two uh, connection statements are saying that the output of the file is the input of the room, and then the output of the room is the input of the file, just like uh, what we expect physically. And in this section, we connect all the source terms with their respective component, like rooms and fan coil. Because of the sheer size of this model, uh, there are actually over 17k equations uh, in the unsimplified model. Running the structural simplify function will take too long. So in here, it's enough to just run the expand connections function and tearing. The expand connections uh, function expand all the connection statements into concrete equations. 
uh, and Turing minimizes the model so that it accelerates the simulation time. And finally, here we convert the symbolic representation of the system into a ordinary differential equation problem and solve it using the QMDF solver. It only takes just a little bit over seven seconds to simulate seven day worth of real time. And the solver succeeded. Now let's check in on how to build an animation of the solution. Take it away, Sebastian. I created uh, uh, this digital twin demo building package, which encapsulates all the code for the visualization. And I will also be using two other packages, Unitful, which is a package that helps us uh, use units in Julia, and mach which is a visualization ecosystem for which you can find the docs at docs.maki.org. Uh, this slide is just to let Mackie know that we want to use more accurate method for the scattering of light, the screen space, and the occlusion. Now, here we have the model initialization and generation, really, and we have this split such that we can easily access model components for things such as uh, the names of the rules. For our animation, we need to define our start time and our end time and of course, how many frames we'll have. We also want to define uh, the current simulation time, which will interactively update everything during the animation. Uh, with this, our end result will be something like this. So we have the building on the left and two other plots on the right. So we have the room temperature and the ambient temperature. Other than that, we can zoom in during the animation on the building just showing the rooms at the top. And for this, we define the end position that we want to arrive and just make that time dependent. And now we'll display the figure and this is the figure. And we can pan around it. And uh, now our building is now ready to be animated. And we can use the animate function for this. And as we can see, at uh, this specific point in time, this room starts to cool down because of the, uh, as uh, my colleague mentioned earlier, the fan coils it goes from one to two. It will move just like uh, we expected. If you found this interesting and want to create HVAC simulations, which are both accurate and fast to run, please contact sales at juliahub.com and ask about the Julia Sim libraries for building simulation. Thank you, and see you next time.